I would wake up every morning sneezing. You know, I'd go into the bathroom and I'd sneeze over and over again and really prevented me from doing any yard work. And so I would just kind of stay in the house and as much a filtered environment as possible. Barry came to see me because he can't breathe out of his nose. He reported having a nasal congestion, facial pressure, a headache. And in addition to that, he suffered from obstructive sleep apnea that uh, required him to wear a CPAP every night. It started back when I was in uh, grade school and it just has gotten worse and worse and worse over the years. And most of the other doctors I've always visited would treat symptoms. I just assumed that's all they could do. And when I went to see Dr. Wynn, he said, no, nah, here's the problem and here's a solution. We noticed that very turbinate, which are structure on the side wall of his nose, are very swollen, restricting his, uh, his airway. Uh, also, very sinus narrow, and allow, prevented him from breathing well. We discussed those findings with Barry and agreed upon a plan of treatment. First, reducing the size of the turbinate, allowing him to breathe better, and also using a small balloon to open, to dilate the natural passage of his sinus cavity. It took probably two weeks to feel really great. Progressively over that time, the breathing improved. You know, it's amazing, I told him, I've never ever been able to breathe through both sides of my nose and now I can. After going through a small procedure in office of 45 minutes, now Barry enjoys life, breathe better, do more outdoor activities, and the most important thing, it reduces his dependency on CPAP machine and he now can sleep better. I was amazed because it was like finding somebody that was really willing to just do something more than put a Band-Aid on it. It was really exciting. 